gear meter testing system. It's used for unfilled epoxies and unfilled two-part urethanes. It's comprised of a number of sections. There's the feed tanks. There's the metering section in the center. There's the control, the power console with the flow control. And in this case, we have a number of heat zones we're using to prepare the material in the tanks and in the lines. And then there is the dispense gun, which in this case is a handheld pistol grip with static mixer attached. In this system, we have seven different heat zones. Each one is comprised of a proportional controller, a thermocouple, and a heater in the zone. When the operator sets the desired temperature, the actual temperature is displayed. As the actual temperature approaches the set point, the, the current drawer is reduced, so we try not to overheat the zone. That's proportional heating. Each tank is, is heated, insulated, has an analog material temperature. The bottom of the tank is a Calrod heater embedded in a thermal heat compound. There's a, also a thermocouple set against the bottom of the tank. This analog temperature gauge gives the actual readout of the material temperature to help in processing the two-part adhesive. When we're heating the tank, it's also important that we agitate, <clears throat> this happens to be a 10-gallon tank, that we agitate this tank to make sure we have a uniform temperature profile in the material. And we've added seven heat zones. We heat the B tank, and we're heating the A tank. We're heating the hoses from the tank to the metering pump. We're heating the metering pumps. We're also heating the dispense hoses out to the dispense head. And in addition, we have a cartridge heater here in the gun, which heats the frame and keeps the material in the head at temperature. In addition to heating various components on the system, we're also going to vacuum degas the material in the tanks. And to do that, we add a vacuum pump here, which is manifolded to each tank. That allows you to fill the tank, pull a vacuum on the material while it's being agitated to assure air-free dispensing. The second purpose of the vacuum pump is to remove air from the tanks and also moisture. Then you can lock the tanks up over the weekend or over <coughs> downtime to keep moisture out of the tanks. Each tank is equipped with a three-way valve off to isolate the tank from the environment, the pressure side, which is used when you're running the machine, and the vacuum side, which is used when you're running the vacuum pump to degas the material inside the tank. The system is designed so once the tanks are full, material is fed from each tank through a feed hose into a gear pump where it's put in the correct proportion. So the same the B side and the A side, both being fed to independent gear pumps, those gear pump proportion the material, feed it out to the dispense hoses to this dispense head. And this can be handheld or this can be stationary or it can be robotically mounted. The GP80 is variable or adjustable ratio as well as adjustable flow rate. The flow rate is adjusted with the percentage meter being percentage of 100 or full speed. So by adjusting this, you adjust the speed on the gear motors. That's how you adjust the flow rate. Each uh, urethane system is designed with a desiccant dryer here into which the main house air is plugged. And then that dryer cleans the house air and then we manifold it from the, to the tanks and to the dispense head. Therefore, we know that the air entering the system is dry. The way gear metering pumps work, very high tolerance, maybe around a 10 micron clearance inside these two gears. On the face of the pump, you have fluid in and fluid out. Fluid coming in 
enters the pump here. As the gears rotate, the material is carried around the outside of the pump. So it enters here, fills the root of the gear, travels around, and exits here. So it enters here, travels around the perimeter, and exits here. Since we know the volume of each root in the gear, each revolution of this pump will give us a specific output. So by matching speed and pump size, we can achieve the ratio with these uh, gear pumps. They're very simple devices. There's two moving parts. Now these pumps have a drive shaft here with a series of seals and packings. And that drive shaft actually drives this gear. So this is the drive gear and this is the driven gear. One of the benefits of using the Ashby Cross gear pumps, especially with the urethane, since this is a susceptible area because it passes out into the environment, there is a wet cup built into these pumps where you can add ISO oil that floods the seal area. That does two things. It maintains the integrity of the seals because particularly the isocyanate will crystallize in the presence of moisture and air. So this is flooded with ISO oil and prevents those seals from being uh, contaminated. It also prevents the material from being contaminated. Each tank has a low level sensor that provides an alarm should the material drop to roughly a gallon left in each tank. And those alarms are located on the dispense console here and you get an audio visual alarm when you hit low level. So to review the GPA to dispensing system, each material has a side where the material can be prepped, heated, or degassed. The material is then fed under slight pressure up into the proportioning pumps. The proportioning pumps then put the material in the correct ratio and feed it out to the dispense head. So access to the packings and to the gear change for ratio change is under this protective cover. So once you've removed the cover, you have access to the back of the system. You can see the drive motor, the drive assembly, This is the ISO or the hardener change gear with which you can alter the ratio. So each machine ships with a small uh, wrench for adjusting the packings. And the packings to this pump are here behind the sprocket. To tighten those, give that a slight clockwise pull, and the packings are tight. No other adjustments required.